Hi you guys! If you clicked on this video, I'm sure you're anxious to see my favorites and least favorites when it comes to Abercrombie denim. I'm just going to jump right into it and start with my absolute all-time favorite. So we'll just start there. Okay, these are a 90s straight ultra high rise. I bought these in about May of 2021. They actually just brought this wash back. I have multiple pairs or multiple videos in these jeans that has gone absolutely viral on TikTok. They make your butt look so good. Hard to get a great angle from this far away, but like these are, when I'm having like a weird body image day or like I just don't feel that great, these are my go-to jeans. Um, I'm wearing a 24 waist and then I have the regular length, but I literally just cut them straight across. So my hack for doing that is finding a pair of jeans where you like where they cut or where they hit you on the ankle. Um, I have another pair of Abercrombie jeans where although I don't like the fit around like my crotch area, I really loved where they hit me at the ankle. So all I did was line up the crotch with those and then I hacked straight across. And then when you cut denim, it's just gonna naturally fray. So you get all these like raw jagged edges and that's just like the way that they look. So. You just take a sharp pair of scissors and you just cut straight across a pair where you already like the link. That's a hack for that. Um, yeah, these will be linked down below. These are my absolute number one favorite pair of Abercrombie jeans of all time. The next pair is these 90 straight ultra high rise, but they're curve love. So I bought these, I want to say last fall or winter, and while they look cute at first because they're curve love and I'm a very just straight person like straight narrow boxy don't have a lot of curves to me very short and five two i think i already mentioned that um the curve love doesn't quite work on me i feel like there's a lot of excess material here that while they look cute when i first put them on which i cut these two myself um i don't feel like they flatter me as i wear them like after a few hours i look at myself in a mirror or a photo i'm like oh i don't like those i don't like the way those look um, I haven't found that these photograph super well in a selfie, they're fine, but like when it comes to having a photo or a video of myself taken in these jeans, it just never quite looks like I think that it does in person. Like they look pretty okay in person, but they just don't translate well on video or film. That's really my main issue with them. Still a cute jean. I'm just, I don't gravitate towards them because of how I know that they look if I'm like, Oh, I'm gonna have my picture taken or a video taken like I do social media full-time so there's always a good chance that those you know that that's gonna happen so I just never gravitate towards these but I will link them down below for you guys if you're interested in them I've got on the ankle straight ultra high rise these are my same size a 24 and a 52 I got regular length now I didn't crop these because um, I like where they hit me on the ankle these are a couple years old so every now and again they kind of pop back onto the site but I haven't seen them there in a minute I will link them if they have them the only thing that makes me not gravitate towards these is that the wash is kind of like sometimes I'm super in the mood to wear this wash and sometimes I'm not like I don't feel like it goes with the vibe of a lot of things that I wear I just really gravitate towards that acid wash um, of the first pair or like the just normal denim looking like I don't know all denim is normal, but I'm struggling to find the words, but like this dark sort of like mom-ish color denim is just a very specific shade of blue that I don't find goes with absolutely everything. Does that make sense? I got on a 90s relaxed jean high rise. That's the name of these. You can tell that they are a little bit lower than my other ones. I wore this bodysuit, it's aloe yoga, I'll link it down below, because it has these cuts in the side. Um, it's kind of like just the style where it like looks like a thong or something, which it's a bodysuit, so it's a thong. But anyway, the cut is just higher, and I wanted you guys to be able to see where these hit in comparison. So obviously you can see a little bit of skin there that you probably haven't seen in the other jeans, um, because these are a little bit more low rise. I love the cut of these i love the fit the only thing um when it comes to styling them is i tend to wear them with like a tight bodysuit or a crop top or something that's like a little more um fitted up top because they they do get baggy past the knee so anytime i've taken photos or videos in them if i wear it with like a baggy something up top it just doesn't quite translate the way that i want it to 
um, and a picture or a video. So that's just something to keep in mind, but it looks really good like in person. I just, hard for me to personally style or take a photo or a video in like baggy on top, baggy on bottom, and not just let it swallow me whole because I'm 5'2", so it's hard for that to translate. All right, these are pretty obviously not a jean, but they are absolutely one of my favorite Abercrombie pants. There are the cargo pants. There are 24, which all these jeans are in a 24, but these I did get in short because I saw a girl that I follow on Instagram. She and I are the same height and she got them in short. And so I was like, I just wanna try that. And I really like the length of the short ones on me. I love that the back of these, the waistband is like elastic. I just absolutely love that. The rest of the cargo is just stiff. It doesn't have any stretch, which all these other jeans have stretch to them. But these just being a cargo pant, the material is not stretchy, but the waistband is plenty stretchy and these might be just the favorite, my favorite Abercrombie pair of bottoms that I own, period. It's really a tie between these and the first pair of jeans. So if these are in stock, um, they also have them in multiple colors, grab them. Like, don't run, don't walk. So these are also a 90s straight ultra high rise. These should be the same fit as the very first pair that I showed you. I actually cut the ankles of these against these because I love the ankle cut on here. Um, but after I cut them, I was kind of like, oh, why did I do that? Like, I wish I would not have cut them because I feel like they looked fine. I just find stuff with a raw hem easier to style when it comes to shoes. Um, like the, the hem that isn't cut, I find like, you can really only wear it with a tennis shoe. It doesn't look super great with like a, a mule or a flip flop or anything like that. So I, I just find um, a raw edge easier to style. So that's why I cut mine. I also like when they hit me at a certain spot on my ankle because I feel like it makes me look a little bit taller. But without, with all that being said, I love the wash of these. Um, they just do feel a little bit like higher waisted and it does feel like there's more gaping than was in that first pair that I showed you guys. But again, those are almost two years old. So they've been washed and dried a lot and have just shrunk quite a bit. And I always wash and dry my jeans so that they sort of like shrink back up because I feel like as I wear denim, it stretches out. So these are the same fit as the first pair, but a little bit of, different, of a different fit. If this color is in stock. Again, run, don't walk. These might be my favorite pair after putting them on. I haven't worn these a lot this year because I feel like they needed to be washed and dried quite a bit, but the last wash and dry must have done the trick because I'm really digging these. I love the illusion that this extra denim gives my waist, like it makes my waist look even smaller. So big fan of that. These are um, the same cut as most of these, which is the 90s straight ultra high rise, but not curve love. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Um, Abercrombie just has me in a toehold as it does the entire internet. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the